Hi Mountain Vista, this is Pam Donnelly, a member of the project management team. Uh, you're going to hear me today, but you're probably not going to see me. Um, it is Tuesday, May the 5th, and we are here at our new home with our construction manager, Scott Chilcote. Uh, we want to catch you up on what's been happening uh, since the last time we were together. Um, in the interest of uh, social distancing for COVID-19, um, I am both shooting the video and narrating it today. Scott will be doing a lot of the talking, I hope, and uh, our faithful dog, Buddy, probably will be helping us out. So we're gonna walk slowly in here. We have our doors back up again, as you can see. They've completed the stucco repair on either side where the stairway used to be. Doors are dropped down and that piece of plywood up there will later be replaced by a piece of glass. So we're gonna go inside. You. Everything is framed. We are now putting up the drywall out. We had to frame it, you'll recall, and we had to wait until the county could inspect it. That's happened. So I'm standing roughly, I just came in the front doors and I'm standing in the center of what will be our greeting area. I'm gonna show you as we go around, that will be the administrator's office over there. There will be space here on either side of the door. We'll have two sets of doors. They will be gla all glass. There's the other entrance door. That will be the reverend's office over there in the corner. You can't quite see the door. It's only partially framed in or uh, drywalled in. Sheetrock. And then Again, here in the greeting area, we've got an alcove. How wide is this roughly, Scott? Do you remember? 13 feet deep and it's 40 feet wide. 40 feet wide, 13 feet deep. That's a lot of space to welcome people as they come in. The greeters will have their own uh, cupboard for all of their supplies. So, but here's the big fun. Here is what you've been waiting to see. Going in the right-hand set of doors, here is your sanctuary. I'm gonna go slowly around here. This is our big, beautiful, wonderful sanctuary. And although everything has been framed through that door you see there for the religious education space and the um, conference room space. We're not going to go in there today, mostly because it's it's something that's going to be really hard to show you walking through it, don't you think, Scott? It's yes, going to, it's it's going to get, space. yeah, it's a tight space for us with a video camera. So as I'm looking up front here, Scott, where we see the darker paint, that's roughly where the stage area will be. Yes, the stage will be the whole way across this stack of lumber there is for framing the stage. Okay, it's only gonna be six inches high, right. so we won't uh, have um, too much difficulty getting up and down, and there will be a ramp on the right-hand right side. side. Um, that's the side with the chair. Yep. So I'm gonna move forward into this and let you all see this from a different angle. Um, all the walls are pretty much up in here. Try to go around here. That's the, the plate to hold the speakers. Ah, the sound okay. Yes, they've already put some things in for our uh, for our sound system. That's the plate up there that will hold one of the speakers. Come back around. We're going to go briefly into the social space now. Tell me about what's going on here in the back because that's kind of interesting. This is up a here. soffit that we're building. From the first day I walked in here, I wanted, it was my thought, to continue the look of the wood beam the whole way across. So it looked like it went the whole way around the sanctuary. It's strong, but it wasn't as stiff because it's so massive. So Herb and I designed a, a soffit up there that, will, that stiffens the whole thing up and it'll be faced in wood. It'll look just like your, your beam going across. And that's gonna be cool. It is. That is going to be way cool. 
So that door that I'm shooting now would go into uh, a hallway and the conference room and you'd be able to access the reverence office that way. And then as I go further down this wall, this door will lead back into the space in the back, the religious education space and all of that. You'll also notice, I don't know if you can tell in the video, but on the original design, we had angled walls here at the front of the sanctuary. And there's one of your angled walls behind that uh, scissor lift there. So it is turning into a wonderful space. We've replaced the lights with the LEDs which will save the church a fortune in the Absolutely. long run. Yep. And all of your uh, stage light framing is in, all the wiring is in, all the internet wiring is in. Um, the electricians are just basically waiting for us now. Cool. So we've, uh, we've gotten a lot done. I think it's been almost two months, hasn't it, since yes, we did one of these. So <laughs> we're heading right now through what will be the double doors on the east side of the sanctuary. And those will open up into what I'm calling, for lack of a better term, our community space, our social space, where we'll have coffee, where we'll be able to have dinners. Don't wanna to go too fast here. Okay, up to that wall. And then that hallway you see there will take you out to the front again so that you can come directly into this space from the front entry without needing to uh, go through the sanctuary. 